Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this morning mountain weather update. I want to go to radar first and show you what's left of our storm system here, this 117-118 storm system. Um, so when you look at radar across the west, look down towards Utah, snow is over. We will see lingering snow. You can see a little bit of it there in Wyoming. And there's also going to be some lingering snow in Colorado. Here's the Colorado radar. You can still see uh, that signature of snow over the I-70 corridor and the Front Range High Peaks and Indian Peaks. So lingering snow today. That's uh, part of my headlines for Wyoming and also Colorado, but it looks to be over for Utah. Let me take you up to Jackson Hole. Today is definitely a powder day. They're reporting 11 inches in the last 24 hours, and you could still add a little bit of additional accumulation, another inch or two there. Steamboat um, saying they picked up eight, nine inches of snow in the last 24 hours. You can still see it is snowing there as well, lightly higher on the mountain, so you could still pick up a little bit of additional accumulation. And I got to show you this cam. This is, a, this is the Aspen cam, and it has now drifted so much that it has completely obscured the snow stake, which is sitting just in the background right there. If you've been paying attention to these updates the last few days, um, the cave of snow, the amount of drifting has just grown each and, each and every day. But they're showing about seven inches of new snow up there, Aspen Snowmass, um, Aspen Highlands, and Buttermilk. So it should be an outstanding day. Um, in Colorado, Wyoming, even in Utah, um, from the snow that you had yesterday and last night. All right, let me take you into my bullet points. Here's what I'm seeing this morning. So there's that lingering snow pattern today, Wyoming, Colorado. Then we have to shift pretty fast into a warmer Pacific pattern, 119 through 127, with a strong subtropical jet that will be directing traffic. Um, it will probably push two different southern track storms through the southern tier, through the four corners. I'll show you those coming up. So the next chance of snow, uh, Utah, Wyoming, and Colorado is 120 into 121. But keep in mind, the pattern that we have now and the pattern we're going to have then are totally different. There's no cold air with what's coming. Very little cold air compared to what we've had. So that's going to affect snow quality. It's going to affect a lot of things, snow levels. For example, in California, with this storm coming in late 119 and 120, snow levels are probably going to be at about 7,500 feet. Then, with the next piece of moisture that moves in, you're looking at probably 8,000 feet. So snow levels will be gradually increasing with this warm air that's blowing in. In the northeast, you've got some snow coming 124 to 127. So we'll look at all that in this update. I want to take you over to water vapor satellite imagery this morning, mark a couple of things. So there goes our 117, 118 storm system. That will be departing today and pulling the snow out. Then here comes the next pattern, a big area of low pressure hitting the west coast with precip, another one behind it. But really what you're looking at here is just all of this, this big trough that is now moving into the west coast. And it's going to be feeding in a lot of warmer air across the west. And again, just changing the complexion of the forecast compared to where we've been. Here's the forecast radar and satellite. So this is a situation by this afternoon, light lingering snow in uh, Wyoming and also in the central and northern mountains of Colorado. As we move into 119, it's over. Now we look to the west and what we're going to see is just waves of precip hitting the west coast and some of that gets thrown into the interior, kind of ragged. Here comes the first southern track storm, 121 into 122. Watch the four corners. You can kind of see it sliding through. Here comes another potential southern uh, track low here on 123 into 124, and then that slides on through. So that appears to be the pattern at this point as we uh, slide into the future. Let's talk about the jet stream pattern. So this is 119, and by this point that, uh, that storm system and west-northwest flow is moving out. Now here comes that powerful subtropical jet opening the door for a lot of warm air. Here's the southern track low. You can see it. Look at that big trough there, 121, 122, 123, sliding through the four corners. And that'll bring some decent snow to northern New Mexico, potentially a little bit to southern Utah and southern Colorado as well. But really what you're seeing there is just a blast of warm air off the Pacific. Here's 127. And at this point, keep in mind, there's just no cold air. Even though the jet stream looks like it's it's amplified. There's just, it's all locked away in Canada. The cold air is locked away and we're just, we're basically just tracking uh, waves of moisture into the west coast. All right, so the new grand total map looks like this this morning. We still have potentially 10 to 20 inches for Tahoe down to Mammoth, but keep in mind the rising snow levels. So 7,500 feet 
Um, that'll be the case uh, to, for this first storm and then potentially 8,000 in the second. And then look to the Pacific Northwest in BC. You've got over a foot coming there in the Tetons over a foot as well. Um, let's uh, zoom into that grand total map here across I-70 and North, looking at potentially 6 to 12 inches of additional snow between today, and I'll break this down by period in 127. I'll go a little further west into the West Elks. And not a lot of snow here, potentially 3 to 7 inches of accumulation between today and the 27th. Here we go by um, time frame. So today into tomorrow, light lingering snow, Wyoming, Colorado, 1 to 2 inches, maybe a 4 inch amount up around Cameron Pass. But you can see the effects of that next storm in the Pacific Northwest. Here's 120 to 127, warmer, higher snow levels, uh, potentially another 2 to 8 inches over parts of western and southwest Colorado, two to six, something like that, eight or nine for the Wasatch and about a foot up in the Tetons. So this is going to be a good stretch for the Tetons, a very good stretch. In California, again, about 10 to 20 inches during that period. That's when you pick up the bulk of your accumulation. Here we are in the northeast, and again, most of what you see here happens late in the period, like 120 three or 124 to 127, somewhere in there. Uh, and you could pick up maybe eight to 12 inches, but again, that's way down the road where confidence is gonna be a little bit lower. So we'll end on the grand total map here. And once again, the rest of today through 127, some light lingering snow today, tonight into um, uh, Wyoming and also Colorado. Then we shift the pattern big time on 119 and beyond. Guys, thanks for tuning in here. I always appreciate it and take care.